has nothing, honestly, it has nothing to do with it. Well, no, we have, I'll, I could speak to the music budget. Uh, I directed an episode last, last year and I got a peek behind the curtain. And I do like music, and so I was doing my edit and just like, you know, nobody told me how a budget works for post production. I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna put all my favorite songs in this show. <laughs> and it was like, uh, you know, it was an episode where Lewis was like walking out of the elevator and doing his like, you know, there were very particular edits, so it was hard to take a song out and then put a new song in. So I, I put this whole thing together, sent it off, and I get this like phone call from post production being like, so you've gone over budget by about a quarter million dollars. <laughs> And we had to like pull out. I, I, mean, I think that my episode. You literally had like five songs on the radio. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, was it was Pharrell. Like, I was like, it's a like, great Pharrell song. That's expensive. <laughs> um, but we kept, we kept most of them. You guys were kind. You let me keep a fair amount of them because they were. Still, you still went over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Some of my favorite episodes are, are based on the selection of music. And Gene is so like very responsible for a lot of those picks. And like, you always, everybody. I think thinks they're like a music supervisor, like you know, like oh this, you know what? Like I just heard this today that this really would fit our show, and then you send it to Gene, like Gene, you have to hear it, and then he's like, yeah, you know, I don't hate it, <laughs> but um, no, Rick, because every song you sent him, pretty much to Gene, it just sounds like <laughs> do, 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 do. It's a discerning. He has a like discerning awful. <laughs> he takes in a lot of music. There's also lobbyists. I found this out while I was directing. There's like records labels that are like, hey, so what music are you putting in your episode? Like, there are people, that's, that's their job, yeah. is to place music, and so they're really good at understanding what the vibe of your show is and sending you really good stuff of new artists, which, you know, is great, because you can, that's a big paycheck for a new artist to get their music on, and um, it helps to not always have music that we recognize when we're watching TV shows. Okay, okay. We, we have a cool process. I mean, at the end of the day, everything goes through Aaron, the creator of the show, but um, we... We try to we create these bins in the uh, we like a Dropbox that we all share uh, the editors and Aaron and the producers, and we just try to put cool stuff in there and and it's sort of it's mildly curated and it's the, the I'd say the most of the power when it comes to the music in the show rests with the editors because if some if they find a song that they like and they find a place for it in the show and Aaron sees it and he likes it it's going to stay, and I think the reason why we have this sort of Aaron doesn't know anything about like popular music, and he doesn't care <laughs> at all. So, but when he when he hears something that's cool, or he hears something that he likes, it'll be in the show. Okay. And uh, so I think that's why we don't have songs that you've heard because we don't we don't aspire to that. Well, they're also cheaper. 